What's up, beautiful people? We are Scout Logic, and today we want to discuss does all SP turn blue or green? Nicole, give it to him straight. <laughs> I would automatically say no, absolutely not. Not all SP turns blue or green. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys probably know, I mean, artists and consumers, if you look on the internet, there's too many pictures. So, how does yes. it happen? What's going on? Is it the ink? I no. mean, plain and simple, you're going too deep. You're not taking enough That's time all it is. for this. That's all it really is, boils down to, you yeah. are going too deep. I mean, I'm not going to say, of course, you could use the wrong ink, but the ink is so simple. I've been talking about that forever. So <laughs> it's not video. the ink. It's definitely the depth of the artist. So a yes. uh, little video and video here just to kind of show you. Yes. Now, this is with a marker on uh, a paper towel. Yeah. But you can see the delicate precision. This is very similar to what it requires, the yes. skill that it takes to do subtle pigmentation, yeah. kind of what we do versus s &P or tattoo and just going way deeper with a bigger dot. Exactly. Right? So you can see the difference. And this is a little exaggerated. This It, it, it definitely is. But is it though? So uh, towards the end, I started, uh, you know, when I did the bigger dots on purpose, I really hung in there. And then yeah. towards the end, the last five or 10, I did what I think is about the same size that we're seeing from all the big box companies. It is true. People doing one or two sessions in New York or California, wherever they are, and they fly over to us and yes. we see these big dots done by the three needles. Yep. And this is what 90% of the industry at least is using these size needles. And I know it's just on a napkin, but it kind of gives you a big picture, right? If you're seeing these big impressions and seeing how long and how much they're going to expand at this point, just imagine long term. And that's really what we're always speaking about. Is yeah. Like, what is it going to look like? We're trying to make it as black and white for people to understand yes. as possible. And you know, out of the two different uh, versions, what one do you think has a better chance to look more like real hair stubble? And but but long term, long term. That's really what it comes down. And to. don't forget long term. <laughs> Nicole's passionate about that. All right, guys. Hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, love to hear your feedback. If you have any comments, please uh, share below, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.